We have a large, a large diversity of, of people here that you get to interact with. And it's like it's like being a mentor, a jail warden, a firefighter, a hall monitor. You know what I mean? And we're starting. You know, this is where you work. Where you live is where you work, and you just can't get away from it. What do we stay in? What do we stay in? I like being an R Ray because it gives you a, an excellent opportunity to interact with uh, a, a large diversity and large group of, of students, particularly with freshmen. Um, everybody is coming from uh, all different areas, all different backgrounds. My uh, duties are making sure we have uh, facilitated a number of events. Um, the, interests, the interests are wide, varying, so you know you have a large, a large diversity of, of people here that you get to interact with. And at the same time, um, you know, make sure the floors are, uh, you know, healthy, you know, uh, hygiene is a must, you know. And um, at the same time, you know, assist the residents, I guess you could uh, say it in the briefest terms. I wanted to have the same impact on my residents that uh, my residents' life staff had on me. You know, it's like you're a bridge builder, if you will. I always tell people the hardest thing um, about being an RA, and uh, I guess you would say the, the, the part that I like the least, would be that you live where you work. And it's like, it's like being a mentor, a jail warden, a firefighter, hall monitor you know what i mean like yeah. it's, it's, the, it's the whole little casserole you know? you know this is where you work where you live is where you work and you just can't get away from it everything's all, all rolled into one any other job you know what i'm saying you can call your boss up and say hey you know i'm sick today or you know i had a rough night you know i can't come in not when you were already you live where you work there's no getting away from it the hardest thing is is um is bringing the bad news to people you know or, or sometimes the bad news comes to you you know um incidences where um, things happen to residents or, you know, somebody in the family gets you know, cancer or somebody gets shot or, you know, just things like that. But, but that's what we signed up for, so we already know the deal coming into it. I'm just taking my side. Put the elevator on my side, you know what I'm saying? I ain't no bullets and bullets and whatnot. All across the campus, there's a 24-hour um, quiet policy, which means that there should never be any noise um, that could be heard outside of your room. So that could be anything. That could be music. Uh, that could be just noise, talking, laughing, whatever. You shouldn't be able to hear. When I'm in the hallway, I shouldn't be able to hear what's going on in your room. Appreciate y'all. See, sometimes you gotta handle that, you know what I'm saying? Cats be playing their music loud and stuff, so, you know. But yeah. You know, most of us are pretty on the, on the same page with that, you know, when it comes to how we enforce that quiet policy. All right, so one of the other responsibilities of being all right is doing roof inspections. You see, I got the master key right here. Now, I'm gonna knock first to see if he opens his door. And we'll go around the whole floor with the master keys, knock on people's doors. Where's life? No answer. One more time. Where's life? If they let us in, if they're not there, we'll walk in with the key. All right. So I see he got a, a, a very messy room. You know what I'm saying? Quick check, open some cabinets maybe. Uh, maybe open some drawers or a fridge and, and see if there's any uh, illegal contraband. Um, namely, alcohol and marijuana. You know what I'm saying? I do a real quick check, you know what I'm saying? Look around right quick. Check a couple doors. You know what I'm saying? Check the fridge. Always, always check the fridge. Uh, a lesson to all those residents out there. If you're going to hide alcohol, don't hide it in the fridge. I know you want your smearing off chilled, but, you know, just take the L on that. Um, that's pretty much all we really look for. Also, towards the beginning of the year, we also we look for um, illegal appliances because there are restrictions on the type of appliances you can have, particularly with refrigerators and microwaves. Uh, looking around, 
I don't see nothing out here, you know what I'm saying? I don't see nothing in here. He but throughout the rest of the year, it's mainly like drugs and stuff. Then we bounce. Right now, I'm going to head downstairs, head to the lounge. Got that meeting for Red's Fest. I'm going to head down here out right quick. Let's head. Res Fest starts in one week. Um, if you don't know about Res Fest, the Res Fest is a, a week of activities, competitions that range from athletics to games to um, whatever between the residence halls on campus. <laughs> the step competition is always the biggest event of Res Fest. You know, they start practicing, you know, the first semester. So they're very excited about that. My role in Res Fest is to facilitate stuff. And extension of Puerto Rico, I got that. The Statue of Liberty play, man, drop it off and all of that. Once, once I get the rules, from the people who are organizing everything. I mean, the blues. And I'm like, all right, this is what I want y'all to do. I want y'all to go out here and have fun. Why are you going out like that this year? But above all, win it. Can I get a two, 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 two,